What's up, guys? Welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Today we will be continuing our series on how to make a pen game in Scratch. Today we will be looking at how to add squares in Scratch. As you can see, we have a square, and we can make it bigger or smaller. So this is what we are going to be making today. So without further ado, let's get started. So here we are from last time. Last time we were looking at adding the better color mechanism and more uh, variables that we added. Transparency, tr saturation, brightness. So now let's get going with the pen. First let's make a new variable called draw shape. And add a question mark because it's going to be true or false. I make it for this sprite only. When the green flag is clicked, set draw shape to false. We're not because we're not drawing a shape. Then we want to drag all of this code above the go to mouse pointer. So we'll put this around the go to mouse pointer and the if else statement. And we will say, if draw shape is equal to true, I mean false, then we'll do that. Actually, we need an if else statement because if it's equal, we don't want it to be to draw if we're drawing the shape. So we'll do that instead. Else, we are going to go to control and then make sure to check stop this script. So now, over here, let's add a new event. So when the green flag is clicked, we'll get a forever loop and an if statement. If, I mean an if else statement. If draw shape is equal to false. I mean true or false I mean then we'll do a if statement if key A is pressed and we need to put this around the uh, if else statement then we will simply create a new custom block called draw square at X and add a number input called X and then add a label called, and then add a called y, and then add a number input input y, and then add a num a la add a label called size, and then add a number input called size, and say run screen without refresh. So we'll draw a square, and we'll do zero zero for now. And let's say our size like one hundred. We will do this, and what we need to do is set draw shape to true, and then else we are going to stop this script, like we did last time. So we do not want it to run. In define draw square at x y size, we are going to go to x y, and we'll go to x x, and we'll go to y y. So then, what we need to do is draw the square. So put the pen down, and then we'll change our x position by ten, which is right. Then we need to go down, so change y by negative 10. And change change x by negative 10. So we go left again, and then we go up. So change y by 10. And actually we need to put the size variable over here instead. So this will be size times negative 1. And we'll duplicate in this size and put that over there. 
And then finally, let's put the pen up. So this is the script right here. And if you run the project, you can draw normally over here. If you press and then erase it and press A, we draw a square. We can draw a square now. So now let's make a new variable called square size. And make it for all sprites. And right click square size and say slider. When the green flag is clicked, we will set square size to 10. And if key A is pressed and if draw shape is equal to false, then we will show the variable square size. And over here where it says size, we want to drag in our square size variable. Okay, so now if we run this project, oh, and when the green flag is clicked, you want to hide the variable square size. So, square size. So now let's play our project. I pressed A and it's a tiny square. If I go 100 and I then I press A, oh, it somehow doesn't work for a second time. So what we need to do is it draws the square and then it's not doing anything. And we want this to go forever. So if I run this again, I press A. And then I draw the square and then it just stops the project. So then we, we do not want this stop this script because it stops the script so we wanted to keep going on forever so if draw shape is equal to false then show variable square size set draw shape to true and then we'll draw the square so you can draw normally you can just change around with the variables and you can hide them and show them now let's draw a square so let's press a and we get a square like this if we go 100 and then you press a so you click the green flag and then press a you can change the square size and somehow it's still not working so what we need to do is take this out so instead if if draw shape is equal to false, then we'll just get rid of that. So now we can just draw the shape. And these variables are still showing, so we don't want them to show. So if draw shape is equal to true, so let's add that in the if statement. If you get an equals operator. If draw shape is equal to true, then we'll basically hide, go to my blocks and get our hide variables block. So now let's press A again, we get that. So we can just change around the values and yeah. So there's our drawing square mechanism. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Scratch tutorial. Peace out.